What's going on Salt Strong Nation? Today I want to talk to you guys about the top three lures to take out to the jetty to have success with redfish, trout, and flounder. And I'm going to go through how to use each one of these lures so you guys can have the most success possible. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, first up on the list, you definitely don't want to leave one of these at home when you go to the jetty, and that's a spoon. These catch probably the widest variety of species at the jetty. They're really easy to use. There's not a whole lot of thought that goes into them. You can catch everything from big bull redfish to mackerel to speckled trout with these, and you really all you have to do to dial in on different species is adjust the size and the depth that you're retrieving your spoon at. For example, for a larger spoon like this, you're going to be casting in some of the deeper parts of the jetty where you're fishing close to rocks, things like that, so to go after some of those large or redfish, or if you know that a lot of the mackerel that are blowing up bait around you are after larger bait, I'd throw one of these bigger spoons. Again, as we get into the fall, most of the bait is going to be pretty big, so you're going to want to be throwing something big like this to get onto the larger specimens that are in those pods. But if you're after speckled trout or maybe some flounder that are hanging around close to the rocks, I would definitely use one of these smaller quarter ounce or half ounce spoons, uh, and you would just roll that through some of the smaller bait pods that you're seeing move through where those trout are popping on them. And again, all it is is a simple straight retrieve with these with some bumps and pauses mixed in. There's not a whole lot that goes into these. Obviously, just make sure that you're adjusting the size and the depth that you're fishing to the species that you're after. Now, next up, we got another classic lure, and that is the bucktail. These are going to be absolutely essential to have in your tackle box over the next couple of months as we see a lot of flounder leaving the inshore estuaries, exiting out through the inlets, going out to the beaches and the offshore areas to spawn in the wintertime. But that big fall flounder run occurs, and all of them have to bottleneck out through the jetties. And this is one of the best baits to use to get onto a lot of flounder. All you have to do is basically bounce along the bottom outside of the edges of the rocks, knowing that those flounder are going to be usually traveling through smooth sandy areas, perimeter edges of those rocks, and they're going to be picking bait out that is kind of shooting in and out of those rocks. And an easy way to catch their attention is by a vertical drop presentation. What I mean by that is as we're bouncing this bucktail, what's going to happen is it's going to shoot up, it's going to come right back down. Those flounder that are laying on the bottom, they're constantly looking up, and these bucktails do a great job of catching their attention with the flashy colors, but they get right back down into the strike zone really quickly. That's just what bucktails tails are designed to do is just bounce along the bottom and you can almost guarantee if you put this in front of a flounder's face it's going to pick it up but if you're not catching as many flounder as you want on the bucktails and you want to kind of spice up that presentation i do recommend adding a paddle tail a lot of people will call this a trailer to your bucktail uh, and i do like the white it just works in a lot of different color variation scenarios and water clarity and i do like putting that slam shady white on there you can just again bounce this in dirty water inlets clean water inlets and you'll find a lot of really great success with this now, last but not least is the power prawn. Now, when it comes to jetty fishing, this was not a lure I expected to be really good. Uh, it's one of those lures I use inshore. I catch a lot of fish with it. But when I started using it out at the jetty, I was really surprised to find how well that it worked. I actually took my neighbor out who's never used artificials at the jetty before, and he caught a ton of trout on this thing. We actually together caught over 50 trout that were between 18 and 20 inches. And I'm actually gonna have a separate video showing you guys that full trip, as well as some really awesome tips on how to use this. But it's a pretty basic retreat. The really great thing about this lure is it's got a lot of action in that tail as it drops and as you pop it. So you just need to work it at different columns of depth for the fish that you're after. Again, that's going to play into what jig head you're going to use. If you're after some of those bull reds, if you're after the flounder, you need to make sure that you're closer to the bottom. So if you're in an inlet that has some really heavy current, you're fishing a jevy that's got a lot of really heavy current on it, I would recommend that you use an ounce jig head. If there's not a whole lot of current, that jetty doesn't have a lot of water moving through it at the time that you're fishing, I would recommend a half ounce. Most of the time, we're going to see those trout hanging above the rocks, maybe in the crevices. And if you work this lure mid-column above those rocks, giving it those really good pop pop pauses letting it settle back down towards those rocks a lot of times those trout will come up and hit it it's got that nice flutter to it you'll have a lot of fish that will come and pick this up now if you're after those bulls and those flounder that are hanging closer to the bottom picking up that bait that's in and out of those rocks i would definitely recommend again being really close to the bottom with that ounce jig head making sure it's down there feeling the bottom, connecting with it, and really giving it those hard pops to bring it up, get the attention of those flounder or those redfish. You'll see a lot of them picking it up there. It's a lot of that same action that the bucktail has, but the drop of that tail and just the way that this lure moves through the water and 
it's really hard for a fish to deny a crustacean meal. Bait fish are a little bit harder to chase down. Shrimp are very easy meals for predators. And again, make sure you're using the larger size power prawn. We do have two different sizes at fishstrong.com. I do recommend in the fall you use the larger power prawn just because most fish are after high calorie meals in the fall, whether it be bait fish or crustaceans, and they'll be more apt to pick this up. And you will usually get onto better quality fish as well. Now, one bonus tip I do wanna give you guys. I know I said this was the top three lures for jetty fishing. Top four lures didn't have as great of a ring to it, but I do want to give top waters a special mention because these are really great when you see a lot of big bait balls that are moving through an area. In fact, if you see trout that are busting on bait, this is one of my favorite lures to have at the jetty fishing it really close to the rocks. Most time those trout are going to pin that bait up against the rocks. Really easy to work this towards yourself and get a lot of action off of trout that are right next to the rocks. Really fun fishing too, being able to see that fish come up and hammer that bait, but make sure that you save this just for when you see those bait balls getting blown up on by trout, jacks, things like that. Even redfish will take you up on these top water offerings, but you have to see that they're feeding on the surface. I wouldn't be using this past you know, dawn or dusk, uh, and I would make sure that I see those fish feeding on the surface before I throw it, otherwise you might be wasting your time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tip on the top lures to use for jetty fishing. If you wanna pick any of the stuff that I've talked about today up from the top waters, the bucktails, the power prawns, everything, we've got it at fishstrong.com at 20% off for Salt Strong Insiders. And if you wanna see more awesome jetty fishing tips, I highly recommend you join us at saltstrong.com. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we literally guarantee we're going to help you catch more fish while saving time and money on your tackle. We do this by providing you with premium education, a private insider community with thousands of reports published daily, and discounts on the best saltwater fishing tackle in the industry right now. So we're looking forward to seeing you join us in the Salt Strong Insider Club soon, and thanks again for watching.